Hey, welcome back to another walkthrough. For this walkthrough, we are looking at PowerPoint 8G Student Clubs. Let's begin. Let's go ahead and click on our assignment. And we'll go ahead and download our materials. Make sure you click on each downloaded material. Don't click on download all files. And let's open up our student file. All right, for our first step on step number two, it wants us to insert the downloaded file, a PO8GLCC clubs document as slides from an outline. Mac users, you will have to do a little bit of uh, converting before you move it into PowerPoint. Let's go ahead and click on the new slides, the down arrow next to new slides, and we're gonna click on slides from outline. Let's go to our downloads and right here it is. We want to do our LCC clubs. So let's make sure we click on the clubs file and hit insert. And it'll take a few seconds, but it will bring in our Word document as a slide. So now it wants us to click on slide two, which is what was just inserted in. And it wants us to select the title slide here. I'm going to go ahead and highlight our text. It wants us to change it to black text one. So I'm going to go to our font group. I'm going to hit the down arrow with the next to our font colors. And I'm going to select black text one. And then I want to come down here to our content place order here. I'm going to highlight all of this. And it wants me to uh, change the font color to brown text two. So I'm going to go ahead and click on our font down arrow and I want to do brown text two, which is the fourth one over right here. Now on slide number two, or still on slide number two, we want to insert the club sponsors document as in slides from an outline. So I'm going to come up here to our slides group under the home tab, click on new slides here and slides from an outline, just like we did with our clubs. But this time we're going to select sponsors and hit insert. Give it a second and here it is. Here's our club sponsors. I'm going to go ahead and click on slide three. So for step number six, it wants me to copy the format from the title placeholder. And then step seven wants me to copy the formatting from the content placeholder from slide two. So I'm going to go ahead and click on slide two. I'm going to go ahead and click on my box here, my title box, and then I'm going to click on the outer border. I'm going to click on one of these dots. I'm going to click on this dot right here. So it selects the entire content placeholder, but it does not have anything selected in here. So make sure you click on that outer border and click format painter. And now I'm going to go ahead and click on slide three here, and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on this placeholder here and notice how it changed the color for me right off the bat. I'm going to do the same thing for the content placeholder. I'm going to click on the slide two. I'm going to click on the content placeholder here. I'm going to click on the outer border so the whole thing is selected. I'm going to click on format painter. Then I'll click back onto my slide three here and then I'm just going to go ahead and click on my content placeholder on slide three and notice how it changed the font for me. For step number eight, it wants me to remove the bullets from slide three. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight on slide three. I'm gonna highlight this whole thing here. It wants me to remove the bullets. So I'm just gonna come up to my home tab under my paragraph grouping and click on the icon here. Notice how it removes it for me. Now it wants me to go to slide two and fix the spelling errors. And notice that I have two spelling errors, agriculture. I'm just gonna go ahead and right click on agriculture and fix it from the drop down list. And I'm gonna do the same thing with chemistry. I'm gonna right click on chemistry and select the appropriate spelling. For step number 10, it wants us to insert a header and footer. I'm gonna come up here to my insert tab. I'm gonna click on under my text grouping, header and footer. I'm gonna click on notes and handout. I'm gonna click on up, uh, date and time. I wanna put a dot next to update automatically. I wanna put a check mark next to page number and then put a check mark next to footer and I want to type in 8G underscore student underscore clubs. 
go ahead and hit apply to all and then lastly we need to put in our tags I'm gonna to go to the file tab I'm gonna hit info from the info group under add a tag I'm gonna type in student comma space clubs and that's it we're done this was a quick assignment I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save and I'm gonna hit save again for good measure I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this I'm gonna close out of my downloading materials upload my full file should be under my downloads there it is I'm gonna hit open upload and submit for grading and let's go ahead and see how we did I'm gonna go ahead and click on my three dots here for my assignment hit view submissions and it looks like I got a hundred percent if you get anything less you're more than welcome to do it again for a better grade if you have any questions or concerns please reach out to me and like always have a wonderful day